happy Saturday guys. I am on my way to Cycle Bar this morning. I normally, I try not to go Saturdays because of traffic and because, well since we're working from home, I'm like trying not to go out as much, but that hasn't really like changed, so. I'm just like, oh, I'll sign up for this class and then I sign up for it and I go. But today I am kind of like, you know, it's just gonna like be a tree Alex day, you know, day in the life type video. Guys, I made it to 20 minutes, 20 minutes um, of vlogging. Yes, uh, the last video you saw, so I hope you guys like it because the 20 minutes on the poll is like the leading number for timing when it comes to vlogs. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm getting my nails done. I'll show you guys a little later, like, my inspiration and stuff. I wanna hit up Lululemon. Okay, guys, let me just tell you, like, the dilemma. It's not really a dilemma, because, like, I love the jacket I got, right? So, I really like the jacket I got, but I wanted the one that without the hood. But the one with the hood is the same material as the Lululemon Align leggings. Like, it's the new Lou fabric or whatever and I really like it. I'm not gonna get rid of it because like I really like it, but I wanted the one without the hood. So I'm thinking like my goal would be to try to get the white version of the one without the hood and then I'll have the black one with the hood. I would get another black one too, but it has to be like black or white because I was checking out like secondhand shops like Macari and Poshmark and I just really don't like any of those other like patterns and stuff and I want it to like match all my outfits because if you're paying that much for like an item like I want it to be worn with like all of my outfits like I don't want to have to worry about like a purple jacket with like I don't know brown leggings you know so I want like a black or white I really don't care but I want the hoodless one so that's kind of like my quest to see if they have it in Winter Park. And then I think we're gonna go to Starbucks because I need to have something to eat before I get my nails done because my nails are kind of like in the afternoon, I think like 2.45, so I have a little bit of time. This class ends around noon. I'm doing a 75 minute endurance ride, guys. I'm so excited. Um, definitely gonna pace myself, like just start out slow and stuff just because I don't want to get like too tired so I'm really excited but the class gets out around like 12 ish like around that 11 45 maybe I don't know but then I'm gonna get lunch or I'm gonna probably just go to Winter Park like Park Avenue area and just like walk around at least just stop in Lululemon and then get some Starbucks and then I don't know what I'm gonna do after that but Valerie's fixing dinner tonight which is gonna be fun guys it is so cold here in Florida it is like 40 degrees out right now and of course I'm choosing to leave the house on a day like today. I'm not thrilled about it but with this sun out it doesn't feel too too bad um, but I think we're gonna like get into like freezing temperatures like later um, in the evening. So it's pretty much the rundown for today. I'm gonna try to also film a TikTok. There's this like audio that I like. I think Aspen used it and it's like I don't know if it's trending or whatever, but my TikToks are getting a little bit more traction, which is good because that app is just like so discouraging. Like I put in so much work and then like nothing. Like at least my YouTube videos, like if I title it something like drastic and I've, wor I've worked really hard on the video, like it'll get clicks. But like with TikTok, you're just relying on the algorithm. So, and like trends and stuff. And like, I don't know. I just can't keep up with it half the time. I know this clip is already pretty long, but just treat it like a drive with me, you know, because we are driving. So I'm going to try to film that as well today, like just get a few clips of like what I'm doing, like nails, the Starbucks, kind of like what I was mentioning. Um, I do want to start posting on TikTok a little bit more, just to try, I don't know. But honestly too, I kind of just treat TikTok like fun. So I'm, I don't like stress over like, you know, does this white car is like gonna into something calm down buddy oh this is the original reason why i picked up the camera anyway to start the vlog okay so i get in my car i'm on my way like out of my subdivision like where my house is and i try to turn on the camera and it's not turning on and i'm like oh i took the battery out to charge the battery and i turn around i'm like contemplating like do i go back home or do i just to film on my phone and I decided to just turn around and get my camera because it's a full-on vlogging day and 
I didn't get this camera for nothing, so oh my goodness, this traffic, man. I hope I get there on time. Um, oh yeah, by the way, if you like miss a cycle bar class, it's like they charge you ten dollars, so I'm like, ugh. Anyway, I always try to make the classes, obviously. Anyway, I had to turn around, go back, get the battery, and I'm like, oh, am I gonna make the class? Cause like, I always have to leave like an hour before the class because it takes so long to like get downtown Orlando, like pretty much Winter Park area. So I'm vlogging on the camera because frankly, I like editing a lot better with this footage rather than my phone. I think my phone is great quality though, don't get me wrong. I just, it's like personal preference. I also wanted to add, oh my gosh, I keep on like adding on to stuff. No, I wanted to add too that my aux cord finally broke in my car and I'm like so unhappy about that. And the one that I ordered on Amazon, like it's keep getting delayed and I hope I don't have to like cancel the order because I mean, that just sucks. I mean, I can just get another one. Um, I can just order another one, but still, I can't believe like that aux cord lasted me like however long I've had this car. So I don't know, it was kind of a sad day, but it's okay. We're moving on up in the world with a new aux cord. So that was super fun. Um, I inserted some clips so you guys could see my class and stuff. I really like the longer classes and I actually like tried to ride on the beat so that was good. Finally found parking in Winter Park. It's so hard like I just keep circling around until someone gives up their spot or is leaving. So first I think I'm gonna stop into Lululemon because again want to see if they have that jacket and then I will go to Starbucks because I need to have lunch and then we're gonna get our nails done so this is fun I need to remember to like film like a few seconds on my phone um, for the TikTok. I love this thing it's so cute it's like a little travel size dry shampoo my hair gets like so wet because of my sweat at cycle bar it's so bad Anyway, just thought I would fill you guys in chat a little bit. <laughs> guys, I do love Winter Park, but there's just too many cars that drive here. I mean, like, look at this. So that's why I don't come here that often. And when I do, it's always just like with a friend or something because coming here alone is just kind of stressful. At least I found a parking spot and I didn't have to pay. We made it into Lulu. And I don't see any of the jackets, but I mean, what can you do? They probably don't have it. I might ask. I might build up the courage and just ask. But anyway, might as well just take a browse around, see if they have my sizes and stuff. I, ooh, that's cute. It's probably like $300 though. Just kidding. Okay, so they didn't have the jacket in like the color I wanted, but they did have my size. So I tried it on. I didn't get any clips because like it's kind of like in a rush well not in a rush but like someone was helping me so um it was like this it was a very like pale pale like blue purple color it was a really nice color but like i really want the white one like now i'm like determined like i want the white size 8 defying jacket without the hood because the black one with the hood is like super cute and i love it so new goal to try to get so i'll just keep like checking the app and stuff and hopefully i'll get it one day but i'm not in any like huge rush to get one so it'll be like a cool like fun find when that day comes so we made it to starbucks obviously and this is what i got i got um my egg bites because like i haven't had anything to really eat yet um so i got these and then for my order i got a hot drink because it's still like in the 50s here so it's a venti chai tea latte with almond milk and two shots of espresso you guys were wondering i can't wait to try it. it should be really good i love to try tea so i know i'll like this one even though i said i would like this i'm gonna try it on camera because like i haven't had like this combination i just know i like chai tea so and i know i like espresso shots because past drinks so we're gonna give it a go the cashier slash barista did not know if i should get like three espresso shots or two I know I said that kind of weird. I'm gonna try it now. Mmm. 
That's really good. Highly recommend. Oh my gosh. It's like the perfect blend. And I got almond milk too, like I said. It tastes like chai tea, obviously. And then the aftertaste is just like a hint of like coffee. Really good, guys, really good. Okay, so I started my TikTok and it looks so cute. I would play it for you, but I don't wanna get copyrighted. So make sure you're following me on Instagram or TikTok. I would love to grow my TikTok platform, but I won't ask you to do too much. There's something I was meaning to tell you guys, but I forgot. But I do wanna share that I cannot wait for for the cheer on tour to happen. Um, the Navarro and TVCC cheerleaders are gonna be um, in Orlando like June 16th. Oh, I can't wait till tickets go on sale. I'm so going because it's just, I don't know. I love the Netflix show Cheer. Leave a comment down below if you have watched that. I've also got uh, Monica's book and I read that in like two days. So good. I know what I was gonna show you guys. I was gonna show you guys uh, what I want for my nails. This is like, this is not the color, but it's like the length I want them. Like pretty short because they have to like last me all month. And already you guys, like these are just, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're just like really grown out. And I can't like function with like nails long because I just find it to be really hard. So this is the length I want. And then I'm going to get um, these colors. Hopefully they have similar colors like that because I like those colors for Valentine's Day, but it's not like screaming in your face like Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to ask um, my nail artist Ella to put like a tiny black heart on like the ring finger. Um, I think it'll be really cute and it's like matte. So it'll be like subtle, but still like themed. I don't know if you get my drift, but I'm going to do that with like a little black heart and I think it'll be so cute. Um, I'm going to head in pretty soon because my appointment's like in a few minutes. I'm also looking for parking spots because I don't know if I'm allowed to park here. I'm parked like by the building, but like in another, like there's other businesses here. So I'm just gonna wait till a parking spot opens. And if not, I'll just leave my car here and trust that it doesn't get like taken. Hopefully someone will be like finishing up when I'm about to go in so I can just take their parking spot really quick. <laughs> guys so I just got my nails done I really really like them this is what they look like the pointer finger and thumb the shades a little off but it's fine like I still love like the design and nails um these three fingers though are like legit perfect like I love them so much and she did the heart so well so overall I love them and I went with the matte. I really like it. It's very different than like what I'm used to, but I highly recommend trying the matte look because it's just cool and different. So I'm gonna get on the road now and head home. Um, nails always take a good amount of time. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now. Well, hello, how are you, blog? Any updates in blog, Valerie world? Blog, blog, What are you, a blog? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Any updates in Valerie World? I'm going to speak at a church tomorrow. That's exciting. Putting some of the finishing touches on it now. Cool. I'm getting ready to cook steaks tonight. Yeah, that's going to be really good. And it's going to be really cold. Oh, very oh, cold. It's going to be really cold while I stand out there cooking steaks. But luckily, I live in Florida, not in New York. That's true. I would be cooking steaks if I lived in New York. Mm -mm. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna dry my hair because it's cold out and I don't know, I've just always heard to like dry your hair when it's this cold. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I realize I have no sweatpants. I only have one set of sweatpants to like wear as pajamas. So I ended up guys just wearing these fuzzy shorts cause I don't have anything else. And then the two pairs that I do have will like One's not that heavy, but it's like the set from Luca and Gray. They're both dirty. They are both dirty and I just like got clean. So I don't want to wear like dirty clothes, you know? And tonight's supposed to be like 
one of the coldest nights in Florida, which is probably not that cold to you guys, but it's cold to us, so. And I love how I don't have any clean pajamas that are adequate for the weather that's coming in, but that's my fault because I didn't like do any laundry on Friday, which I normally do. Yeah, my fault, but I'm just putting in this, um, heat protectant. It's called Invisible Defense by Orbe. And I just use this. I got it on Amazon because I don't know. I don't want to like kill my hair with drying it and stuff. I love how it looks when it's dried too. And like, I love how I'm doing it at night. So I'm going to like sleep on it. I don't know guys. It was hair cleaning day and I've been parting my hair so much in the middle that like it just like falls into place now, which I'm not going to complain about because it's nice. Siri, show your outfit to the vlog. Oh. She is so cozy. I'm very cozy and cuddly and soft. Unlike me, who doesn't have adequate clothing clean, Sherry is all ready. I am. I'm ready for the cold. She is. In here we got everything. Looking good, looking good. Okay, you threw the old ones away. Yes, I did. Okay, so here's my steak. I will try to remember to vlog when like the mothers get theirs. Do you need another little plate or what do you put your vegetables on? I just put them on the same plate. Okay. Yeah, but then we got some veggies here. We just have this on to like keep them kind of warm. Dinner is served. Thank you for cooking, Valerie. Oh, you're welcome. Here's the mother's plates. Mm -hmm. I have corn too. It's just not, it's a little wrapped up over there. Anyway, we're gonna dig in and cozy up. <laughs> it's so cold out. Also, I wanted to show you guys these beautiful mushrooms. Looks so good. 